All right, let's talk about the Philly Shell, Vince. Philly Shell and MMA, yes or no? Maybe? Maybe, that's the correct answer, yeah. So um, we've seen it used successfully. Dustin Poirier is a great example of someone who can use the Philly Shell uh, successfully, effectively, um, and also has really good defense too. Now, when I'm coaching my fighters, um, I let them drop their hands if they're doing it intentionally, right? If you're watching a boxing match, you're watching a fight, one of the most common cues that you hear from the coach or from people in the crowd is get your hands up, get your hands up. And that's if it's unintentional. That means if my hands are dropping due to fatigue or just losing my focus, my hands start resting here. That's no good. But if I notice that my fighters are dropping their hands because they go to head movement mode, that's fine. Like I, I, I want them to bait the punch out, right? So drop the hands. It's not likely that Vince is gonna start going to the body now because look, my body's protected, but the head is open. So Vince is gonna be thinking, all right, I gotta hit the head. So he starts throwing punches. Now I'm going head movement mode, right? I'm baiting him to throw punches to the head so that I can take the target away. Once I make a miss, then I'm gonna make him pay. And this is the concept here with the Philly Shell, right? Floyd Mayweather, who's most famously known for using the Philly Shell, he wants people to throw punches to the head. That's why he drops this lead arm. The other hand, the, the right hand, this is the defense hand. So the, the lead shoulder is the rolling shoulder. Let's say Vince throws a, a right hand. He will use this to, to shoulder roll, but what he'll also do is use this hand to catch these punches from coming in. So if Vince throws that right hand, you can combine it. I can shoulder roll, and in, addi in addition to that, I'm also using this rear hand to catch. I call, call this a cross catch. This hand can also be used to defend against the lead hook. So Vince throws the lead hook, bang, I'm protecting here. Vince throws the rear uppercut, I'm catching here. All right, so whether you're using the shoulder roll or this cross hand defense or your head movement, know that you're dropping this lead hand because you're baiting that, that punch out of them, right? It's not likely that Vince is gonna throw it to the body. Now what you have to keep in mind in MMA is he's not just gonna be attacking the head or the body, he can also kick to the legs too. And the Philly shell stance is a very bladed stance, right? You can square the hips up a little bit, still it may be challenging to lift the leg up. So if Vince starts blasting this, these low kicks, it's gonna be hard for me to check those kicks. So you have to keep that in mind. You have to know what your style is and you have to know what your opponent's style is. If you're going against a heavy puncher, then the Philly shell may work better. If you're going against a Muay Thai guy, someone who's throwing a lot of low kicks, maybe not so much. And I will say this, uh, a little, little story here, that the worst shot I've ever taken in sparring uh, was when I was experimenting with the Philly shell and my buddy Nick threw a left hook into a right head kick. So I was here, he went left hook and I blocked that, but now I turned right into the head kick and I just turned away from it. And uh, I didn't go down, but Definitely suffered a pretty bad concussion. I forgot what I had for breakfast. I forgot if I had health insurance. And I called Maria about three times. And she's like, Shane, you already called me already. I'm on my way over. I'm going to take you to the hospital. Sounds so, like a fun time. Yeah, that was a good time. It was a good time. Um, but right from then on, I was like, oh, maybe the Philly shell doesn't work. But then we started to see fighters like Dustin Poirier using it. Um, and I realized that it really just depends on, again, it depends on... Your opponent, what they're throwing, what their style is, and are you using that cross-hand defense? Are you moving your head? Um, because you do have to protect that side of your head if it is a right head kick or if it's an overhand right, right, Vince throws an overhand right. I have, really have to lift the shoulder high and reinforce with this cross catch because Maidana used this successfully against Floyd Mayweather. He almost came up with the punch and then down. Floyd went for the shoulder roll, but it still caught him behind the ear and it staggered him. So here's a drill that I want you to do, a good way to practice the Philly shell is Vince is gonna throw six punches. He's gonna throw two straights, two hooks, two uppercuts, just alternating left and right. I'm going to drop my lead hand into the Philly shell stance, right? And then I'm gonna use my opposite hand to then catch or block all of these punches. So Vince throws the jab, I catch, parry, or pillar. He throws the cross, I cross catch. He goes lead, lead hook, I helmet, he goes rear hook. Now I have to lift my shoulder up and protect with this cross catch. He goes lead uppercut. I pinch the elbow in, now he goes rear uppercut, and I catch here. Now he picks up the speed, once I find the rhythm down, he can go a little closer to fight speed now. Bang, 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 bang. Right, I know when punches are coming, so if I'm comfortable, I let him know. Vince, you can pick it up, go 100% now. And I'm safe and protected, and it's a good way for me to get the reps in and practice that Philly show. All right, so I hope this answers your question. Does it work? The answer is maybe. Are you dropping your hands intentionally because you're going in the head movement mode? Are you baiting your opponent to throw a shot? If so, good, make them miss, make them pay. Use the opposite hand defense, use the shoulder roll, use your head movement, keeping all of these things in mind. All right, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. If you need some new gear, check out fighttipsgear.com. 
And uh, give this man a follow. Links in the description below for his Instagram. Until then, I'm Shane. Vince the Anomaly. Fight tips for the underdog.